Hello, I'm Sulumni from ICU, uh, and let's uh, look at uh, some interesting new steps uh, of reading the data. So let's uh, look at our data folder. And what you can see here is uh, the data folder has vot to wayscsv file. You can read different types of files like uh, tab delimited files or Excel files, but you need a package for doing that. By default, it's a safe bet to change uh, your file, data file to .csv file. So uh, we are not going to use the hello.r. So let's create a new R script. And the way to create it is you go to file, new file, and R script. Okay. So now we have an untitled uh, R script. Let's save this R script. And you go to file and save. And what you know is uh, it's going to be saved in the script. And mm, let's uh, do our uh, VOT uh, two way. Let's uh, just uh, name it exactly the same as the data set. So that would be a VOT two way analysis. So remember, uh, uh, you installed two packages, uh, Tidyverse and Broom. And uh, since you install it, it should be on, to, on your computer. And uh, however, just having the uh, package installed doesn't mean that you can use it directly. You have to call it. It's like uh, when you reboot your computer, all the programs are there. But in order to use like Word or Firefox or Google, you have to double click it to open. Uh, the file and it's exactly the same kind of principle. But here there's nothing to double click. So we are gonna uh, simply type uh, some commands uh, to um, uh, run these packages. And what do you need to do is, uh, first I'm gonna use comments and in order to comment on our scripts, uh, you use the pound sign and say, um, opening the packages, or I don't know whether that's the right English, but anyway, uh, let's write it. And we say library tidyverse. And as you type tidyverse, it actually shows what's uh, in your packages list. So apparently there's, you have things like tidy r, tidy select, but uh, we are interested in tidy tidyverse, right? So now we have it. So at the end of the line, now uh, we, what we can see is library and then there are parentheses and you write tidyverse inside the parentheses. And at the end of the line, the cursor is running and then um, our cursor is blinking and we are gonna click run. Run is here where my cursor is moving right now, run is here. And once I click run, you should look at uh, the lower right hand side, what happens in the console. So I will click run. You look at the console on the lower right hand, the left hand side. So it opened the packages. So good. And uh, another uh, package is called Broom that we installed. Again, we are gonna run it. So it's run. Nothing special happened, it just, if there's no error message, it means it uh, everything's fine. And since you type new information, what you can see here is uh, the name of the file uh, turn into red. And if you wanna save it, you can either do command or control S, or you can go to file and save it. Because uh, going to file and save uh, requires uh, extra steps, I suggest that we use command S or control S to save it. So once you save it, what you see is the name of the R script file uh, turns black. So now uh, what you need to do is uh, you wanna uh, set the working directory uh, where the data file is. Uh, and how do you do that? Uh, that is the next step. So set the working working directory the data panel is the next step that you're going to do. And what you need to do is uh, you go to session 
And on the session uh, here, you can see the set working directory and there are multiple choices. You can just choose a directory or a project directory, but we have actually under the project directory, we have already the data director, uh, data folder. So, and the data folder is now open. So you just simply go to the files pane location. You should choose it only when your data file is uh, <laughs> visible there, right? If the data file CSV file is not visible and you choose it uh, later on, you might have some errors. So, so first tap uh, your screen on the lower right hand side on the files, show the CSV file. Second, go to session and then choose a set working directory. And after that to files pane location. So once I click it, what you can see here is automatically, uh, the not automatically, but uh, the data, uh, the directory is set. And you can just simply type this set WD and the directory that you want to have, uh, uh, or that you want to use for the data, that's also possible. But uh, if you can't remember what to type, just go to session, set working directory, and to files pane location, given that your data file is. Uh, being shown or like the, uh, the folder of the, uh, where the data file is in is being shown. So good, uh, up to here. And then let's uh, uh, read uh, the CSV file. Mm. And the way to do it is we are gonna call the CSV file as data. So after data, you uh, do the reverse arrow and then you read the CSV. And what you do is you read underscore CSV is what you're gonna read. And then you open a parenthesis, then single quotation mark and type the file name and close the quotation, right? So now we have everything uh, ready. And at that point, we click run. Actually, since you're gonna do a lot of running <laughs> of the uh, uh, lines in the script, it's a good idea to remember the shortcut and the shortcut uh, shows up here uh, uh, to run. What you do is uh, uh, you do a command return in Mac or control enter in Windows. Uh, for now, I will just click run. This is at the end of the line, right? Run. And then when I run it, let's look at the console below here. What happens is uh, it has the column specification. It uh, uh, basically read different kind of columns. It seems like there are five columns uh, in my data. Also what happened is in the upper right hand side here, uh, where we saw environment, history, connections and tutorial, in the environment, a new line was just created. And what we can see here is a line titled data is created and the data has 120 observations of five variables. This seems like a pretty familiar five variables. Okay, we had five variables, five columns, right? language, VOT, place, laryngeal, and speaker. So these must be the variables. And 120 observation means there are 120 uh, rows uh, that you would find. And if you wanna really see the data, what you can do is you can just click the data and what happens in the uh, upper left-hand side is you can see the data uh, being presented. This is a made up data. But what you can see here is there's a language column, there's a VOT column, place column, laryngeal column, and speaker column, right? So uh, we can see what kind of data uh, that you find. So we read it and we wanna check uh, uh, the data. And uh, 
if you want to check the first six lines of the data, the six rows of the data, what you can do is you can just type head the uh, parenthesis data and run. Then in the console, what you can see is the first six data point. Uh, on the language, you have all the QELE. On the VOT, you have the numbers. On the place, you can see different place of articulation. On the laryngeal, you see aspirated and unaspirated. And on the speaker, you can find different uh, speakers. So this has been the basic thing. So how to uh, open a data, how to open packages, and uh, how to do set working directories.